Welcome back to Hobart's Workshop. Today we're going to reconstruct a LARP flail. Uh, this flail was made a couple years ago. I made it using a gun sock, um, three foam balls. Got these from the dollar store, dollar each. Piece of PVC pipe, foaming around it, and some sports tape. So basically what the problem is, is this thing wraps around too much. It's too wrappy, too much of a rope, really. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove these, remove the sock off. We're going to add two more foam balls. So I'm going to take a break for a second, and I'm going to unwrap all this stuff. First I have to do is I have to remove all this tape from the PVC pipe because it's what's holding on my gun sock. So real quick, come in, right down with my little straight razor. Now I see that I'm getting to the sock part, so I'm going to go ahead and stop there. I'm going to open it up a little bit. <clears throat> I'm probably going to eventually need to take all this off, but we shall see. Here we go. It's coming right off. I mean, that's awesome. You can do this technique if you want to call it a technique, yeah. but just about any LARP weapon you have, um, <clears throat> as long as you make sure all your items are relatively safe and easy to fix, I mean, uh, replacing and refixing a LARP weapon shouldn't take that long at all. See, here we are. We're already down here to the material. Now, I don't want to cut the gun sock. I just want to take off this. Um, this is rather time consuming, so I'm going to pause it right now, and I'll come back when I've got this off. Alright, so I'm coming back in. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm having to unwrap these rolls this tape from in here I've already done the first two and oh my god I can't believe I wrapped these things like I did um, I put a lot of tape in between these sections I don't know what I was thinking but what I also did come on now get this one out just a ball uh, I tied the gun sock off at each section as well and I didn't realize I had done that and oh my goodness there that's out so let's do this real quick come in here I have black fake sinew tied around each one of these little sections to keep them tight and I tied this a lot. Man. I guess I wanted to make sure this stuff wasn't coming apart. Which is a very good thing. Alright, so now we're back down here to the one. The original ball. And I'm just tying a little extra there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in one of our balls back into the gun slot bring it back down and again we didn't want that big massive section between each because it was too wrappy and it'd wrap around shields and people's swords and the thing we wanted to prevent was wrapping around people's necks because safety is paramount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some tape around this section right here. No, I haven't tied the back of this ball off because I want it to be tight against the first one. And I want to make sure it's good. And my dogs are going off. So when I get this fixed, take another little break. 
See my little miniature attack dogs are going crazy about, and I shall return. Okay, here we are. So, uh, as in Drakey Fjord, there's this little thing about squirrels. Um, here also, my dogs hate squirrels. And that's what they were going crazy about. So anyway, here we are. And then I'm going to tie this piece right here off. Keeping it in place. Just some dark fake sinew that I use for my leather work. Just going to tie this off. One more little triple knot. That's in place, bam. Trim it off because we don't want nothing flipping and flopping. Come in, take this section down. And unlike the last time, I'm not gonna put 15 rolls around. And I'm not doing it like six or seven inch gaps. I'm just going to do the width of this tape. And I'm going to come in. And don't, I don't know if you see, when you see the plastic on it, don't use these without, with the plastic on it. Because <clears throat> like right here, when it was heat shrunk on there, it can, um, it's really hard, almost pointy like a thorn, and you don't want to get smacked with that. Just, just in case it hits your face or your neck or something, you, you do not want that smacking somebody in the face. And it's, it's your fault that they're hurt or injured. <clears throat> That's going to be a bad, bad feeling. See that? It's looking better already. And just take it by the bottom, push it in there. Come in, give it a twist. Come in with your string. And here we go again. Tighten it down. Bam. You know, the crazy thing is that where this thing is tied at, <coughs> excuse me, got a cold. <coughs> Where this thing's tying at is where one of the original tie marks were. And I don't know. I, I bet this is where the second one was at. That's crazy. I know, I'm just randomly blabbering. But, cut, cut. Tape again. Bring it back up here, right on that little spot. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to tape it on the tie list right here. And as close to the ball as I can get it. Because I'm trying to protect the integrity of the tie and the player. Because sometimes those little knots, man, they just they cause injuries too. All right, I'm going to pause it again because I got two more sections to go and I shall come right back. <clears throat> All right, here we are. We used, <clears throat> changed it from three to four. And I didn't do a fifth one because then I wouldn't have enough to cover the foam end. So basically what we're going to do is we'll come in slide our cover back on that's nice down we're going to take we're going to wrap it around bring it in and this is where we're going to get that's peculiar with our tape come in right there Secure it, and we're gonna pull tight. We want this to be t a tight wrap. The reason why you want to be tight because you don't want it slipping off this thing. 
I'm gonna tightly wrap these out the way. Really tight. I'm going to tightly wrap this part. This is not padding. This is not cosmetics. This is for safety. <clears throat> come down. You want to come down at least two to three inches down onto the PVC and then go back down. Get it good wrapped in there. Um, you want to make sure this is good and safe for your co-players because uh, now I'm going back this way. Because again, now this way going this way, it doesn't have to be that tight. I'm just putting it on there loosely to make it look uh, nice, really. And then you're gonna come down and cover this section with your tape too, because um, no exposed PVC, none. Um, like I was saying, you know, you don't want to make anything that's gonna hurt your players. Um, safety is the first important thing. And I'm gonna come down here on this pre-existing one Wrap pretty tight and I'm gonna go back that way. Cause I wanna make sure that's secured still to the shaft of my flail. Um, just like any of GM GMORs are gonna tell you, Guildmaster Reeves, safety, safety, safety. Uh, battlefield safety is a GMOR's prime responsibility because they're the ones who's supposed to be checking all the weapons to make sure they are battle safe. Um, <clears throat> and a good GMOR will tell you, hey, I'd rather hurt your feelings and tell you your weapon isn't acceptable than for you to get out there and hurt somebody else. So here we are, our finished flail. I hope you enjoyed it uh, as much as I did. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for joining us at Hobart's Workshop.